Okay, will you all please welcome our next candidate, Alan Arakawa. Uh, in just one minute, Alan Arakawa will tell us a bit about his past experience, his leadership style, and his philosophical view. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. My philosophical view of government is government is there to serve the public and to allow the public to have the highest quality of life, not for government to be sapping all of the strength out of the community. And we're seeing a lot of that that's happening right now. As a former mayor of Maui County, I made it a point to be able to meet with many of the members of the community and to be very visible in the community. We made it a point to work cooperatively with other people. We made it a point to work and budget properly so that this community would not be overtaxed, would not be overburdened with raising government cost and taking it out of the community. We were able to have the lowest unemployment in the nation. We were able to have one of the best economies in the nation. And we were able to accomplish a lot of the goals that this community needed to do. We worked on affordable housing, the ambulance, the air ambulance, the bus system, and many, many other acquisitions of property that the community wanted. So we'll continue to do that. Thank you. OK, now, uh, if you will, uh, the more formal question. Uh, would you please list three steps that you would take immediately to revive our stagnant and floundering economy? How would you promote appropriate economic development that will achieve long-term sustainability while retaining our traditional small town character? Well, I've listened to all of the discussion to this point, and I haven't heard anybody really answer the question yet. So I'm going to try and be very succinct and answer the question. We have a very tourist-based economy. We've lost a lot of the activities that tourists come to Maui for. The surf meets, wind surf meets, the taste of Lahaina, the writer's conference, to name just a few, Halloween. What I would propose is that from government, we start working with our community, bringing back some of these kinds of activities. I've heard that. Um, you know, there are a lot of people and businesses that are having a lot of problem by overregulation and nonsensical type of regulation, where businesses that have been in existence for 10, 20, 30 years are now being asked to close down or to make horrendous changes to their way of doing business, and it's causing a tremendous rift in our community and a lot of loss of income. There are over 12,000 jobs that have been lost in the last four years. This is a statistic that was brought up by the Chamber of Commerce. We need to be able to work with people in our community to try and create more jobs, not close down jobs. When we're having tough times with businesses, we need to be out there promoting the small towns, having street fairs, having events in these towns, going to those towns and listening to what kind of things do we need as we've been walking through Haiku, Makawao, and some of the other areas, we're finding out from the merchants, we need a bathroom here. You know, Makawao needs a bathroom. We need to be able to look at uh, how we're going to find parking in Paia. We need to be able to look at maybe signage that shows Haiku is this way, Makawao is this way, so that people that are traveling can actually find those small towns and do business there. But we need to take the time to visit people on a one-to-one -one basis and find out how we can actually work with them. And by doing that, we'll be able to revitalize those businesses simply and very quickly. First of all, we look at the cause and effect. Businesses like vacation rentals. We're creating thousands of jobs in this community. We didn't just shut down vacation rentals. We shut down all the associated feeder businesses that we're helping to keep vacation rentals going. Not to mention a lot of the stores, a lot of the merchants that were providing services and we're, we're having customers coming from these areas. If we're going to have to go through a bad economy nationally, we need to be able to take our place locally and use some common sense tactics. We don't drive the economy down even further by punishing people that are trying to help themselves. Is the goal of government to try and make everybody dependent on government, 
or is the goal of government to try and help people that are trying to help themselves? I say it, the goal of government is to help people help themselves in the best way possible. And allowing people the flexibility and the support of government rather than the shutting down of ingenuity is the way to do it. We need to be able to look at small businesses in working and developing the alternative energy renewable resources area. I mean, really look at it. And I'll you know, give you a disclosure. I'm a partner in a wind generation company. And we've been looking at this, not just talking about it and holding conference after conference, but really start looking at what do we need to do to work on this area. If the storage capacity is a problem, maybe the county should be partnering with the alternative energy industry and create storage capacity. If we can do that, maybe we can all have a lot of alternative energy uses. If we can work with the state government and work with our legislators to change some of the rules that are hampering the development of this industry, perhaps then we'll be able to actually have more capacity that we can use, not be limited to 5 or 10 percent and stop the industry. These are the kind of things I think we can do almost immediately to start generating revenue. The other thing is start promoting more construction. You know, if we work with the construction industry, develop the water resources, literally develop the infrastructure that's there, rather than have bills like the show me the water bill, which stop almost all the small developments. Because small developments could not develop their own water source or guarantee their own water source. History will show us that in the last four years, since this bill was passed, it's failed miserably. And even the county council is, is in it, and they're trying to work with making those changes. I propose we actually go on and continue this. Thank you.